Warning, the following article contains content of an adult nature. Do not proceed if you are not over the age of 18 or are not willing to see such content. By order of the Overseer Council, the following file has been locked due to repeated malicious external and internal attempts to make edits to the documentation. The purpose of these attacks are not currently known. Proceed with caution. Access file. Access granted. Item number, SCP-6969. Level 5 Top Secret. Containment class, Keter. Disruption and risk class, Pending. Special containment procedures. Due to the inherent nature of the anomaly's activation conditions within human biology, SCP-6969 cannot be contained at this time. Efforts are directed towards nullifying the thaumaturgical activation of SCP-6969 on a global scale via application of the thaumaturgical interpolator termination string. Regardless, as SCP-6969's effects are self-censoring and global neutralization would be immensely costly, this is considered a low priority. Access to this file is restricted to individuals with level 5-6969 clearance to prevent panic amongst wider Foundation personnel. Due to the large amount of individuals attempting to access this file for unknown reasons, editing the file has been locked and requires O5 or research lead credentials. Description SCP-6969 is the designation for a thaumaturgic biological process which occurs during ejaculation. When a human being attempts to discharge, whether during the process of intercourse or, more commonly, not, a series of internal thaumaturgic processes occur within the individual's genitalia, affecting the entire body. Over the duration of approximately two seconds, the affected subject will enter and experience a casual time loop, repeatedly beginning at the moment of ejaculation and lasting a short period of time. No changes to the subject's physiology are preserved between time loops, save for two factors. One, the activity of the nervous system, and two, sperm's genetic composition where applicable. Footnote 1. Of note, the genetic composition of the sperm ejaculated changes states before and after SCP-6969, suggesting the anomaly modifies it. Upon conclusion of an unknown number of repetitions, the casual time loop ceases and a secondary thaumaturgic effect activates. The secondary effect resets the nervous system to the state it was when the time loop began, allowing for the seamless transition between pre- and post-orgasm states by resetting memory. Following this, anomalous activity relating to SCP-6969 ceases. Research has suggested that affected subjects may experience a subjective time of anywhere from 16 days to roughly 73 quintillion years every ejaculation. Addendum 1. Testing Log Subject Designation D652589 Subject Sex Male Testing Location Specialized Testing Chamber Zeta2841 Procedure A counterspell on the secondary thaumaturgic process was activated on D652589. The subject was instructed to masturbate, which was performed without complication. Result: Immediate liquefaction of subject's nervous system. Analysis of subject's ejaculate confirmed changes to genetic material. Subject Designation D800-7135 Subject Sex Female Testing Location Specialized Testing Chamber Zeta-2841 Procedure. A specialized thaumaturgic spell is placed upon D800-7135, which modifies the SCP-6969 process, allowing for the entire body to be preserved between time loops. Subject was informed and consented to the experiment prior, and was instructed to masturbate. Result. Subject immediately disintegrates. Subject Designation D05370 and D908707 Subject Sex Male and Female Testing Location Specialized Testing Chamber Zeta2841 Procedure 
subjects were previously married, and were reported to possess unresolved sexual tension in D-Class holding areas. Both were informed of the nature of the experiment and begrudgingly agreed. D-05370 was thaumaturgically modified to retain memories of their experience during SCP-6969. D-907-8707 was not modified. Both were non-invasively recorded during the process. Result: D-05370 became comatose and D-908707 became immensely distressed and uncooperative. Latter amnesticized, former is in medical wing pending termination order. All testing halted by order of the Ethics Committee. Addendum 2 Note from the Head Researcher When I began working on SCP-6969, I initially tackled it with the idea that this was a malicious force I was working against. I think, in one way or another, we all believed that this anomaly was evil, or created by something evil, to do evil upon us. How many anomalies were the result of eldritch horrors? Surely this must be one of them. But, as I stand here before my research and the evidence piles on my desk, I have to conclude that the theme we're seeing isn't a malicious force. It's a natural one. The process of evolution is one which is cobbled together from random happenstance. Genes change at complete random and anything which is potentially beneficial, or at least not harmful, gets passed down, while those which are harmful get killed off. It's brutal and messy, but it works. Just barely. And, the theory goes, SCP-6969 is the result of just one of those many, many evolutionary happy little accidents which may help pass on some genes. SCP-6969, as we know, changes the genetic material of the sperm released during ejaculation. From what we can tell, it also prunes a significant amount of unhealthy specimens, and increases sperm count in general. All signs point to it having simply evolved over the course of our species' lifespans, creating vastly improved genetic material in a tiny time span. When SCP-6969 first came into existence, there may have been a significant significant amount of casualties by people who experienced it without the secondary effects, until one person evolved the ability to reset the nervous system and SCP-6969 simultaneously. Any descendants of theirs not up to par were killed off in the process of natural selection. There is, perhaps, one hypothesis of a colleague of mine which I am too afraid to admit may be true. From the complexity of SCP-6969, we can place the approximate time period from where it evolved, and it appears as though the time corresponds directly with the development of higher intelligence in human species. As if to make matters worse, the hypothesis goes on to state that without SCP-6969, the genetic makeup of humans may become significantly more unstable, resulting in very high birth defect rates and fatal mutations. I cannot fathom a world of such suffering, where we were conceived in such brutal conditions, made to endure such horrors, and die an eventual meaningless death. Sex is a joke. And we are the punchline. Following this, head researcher Nathan Brown was disciplined for adding unprofessional personal anecdotes to official SCP files. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis Zagreit. Lesby Friends, and Scrubversive, and a huge extra special shout out to my level 5 patron, Anton. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.